living in a city is an art, not a science. Choosing to live in a city is choosing to enter into a relationship with it. And like any human relationship, the relationship you have with your city is one that requires nurturing, constant practice and work. The more we take ownership of ourselves within the city, the more likely we are to find our own individual places comfortably within it. The first step to forming a good relationship with the city you live in is to introduce yourself to it. This is an exercise in understanding what your city is about and what its values are. I call this feeling the city. Go to a building or monument, one that speaks to you personally. Touch it with your eyes closed. Try and feel it and think about the city as a whole through this sensation. It is a symbolic gesture, really an act of dedicating time to focus and think, aided by the sense of touch. It is a way of bringing the city, that giant intangible mass of history, culture, buildings and people, into your hand and feeling it physically and also perhaps emotionally. It reduces the scale to something more manageable. It is literally like shaking hands with the city. Travelling through the city is how we experience it. We see its best and worst sides. Finding ways to exacerbate the former and minimise the latter is a fundamental part of either loving or feeling defeated by urban life. Turn your commute into an experience in and of itself so that it doesn't become dead time. You don't have to be blessed with an active imagination to take comfort from the seemingly mundane actions and interactions of daily life that unfold in front of you. Watch rather than see. Listen to conversations instead of drowning them out with your music. The next time you travel around your city, consider the lives behind the faces you sit opposite or next to. Think of the history in some of the buildings or streets you pass through. It's humbling to consider that you are but one life among many that have trod these paths. Feel the significance in that. Plug yourself into your urban environment and not your phone. Pavements are the lifeblood of the human experience in the city, the veins and arteries of the city at human scale. There are extraordinarily rich layers of life on even the most boring pavement, and learning how to read them is a wonderful experience. Walk down a local street, any street, and take note of your environment. Be curious. Each sensation feeds the soul, for better or worse, simply by being noticed. As soon as you open yourself up and become conscious and alert to the ordinary, you begin to see the extraordinary in it. And then you find value in so much more of daily life. The difficulties we face in city life are difficulties inherent in the human condition, magnified by the proximity of so many other people. It is my belief that if we nurture our own sense of contentment, well-being and happiness, then we stand a better chance of spreading this positive feeling to others we come into contact with. If cities are to thrive in our time of urban expansion, they require us to bring life, feeling, warmth and energy. They require us to be human, 